Sometimes we forget that one of the single biggest challenges facing our planet is the fact that it's heating up. And we have an opportunity, against a ticking clock, to try and reduce the temperature rise of the planet. Now, we can't do it alone. The EU uh, emissions trading scheme is the cornerstone of the EU's attempts to address climate change. And simply put, it is a way of encouraging a market-based solution. The design is basically to allow those who are wanting to pollute to pay for that pollution. So we've created a system of permits. In order to emit carbon, you must hold a certain number of permits. If you want to pollute more or allow more out, you must buy more permits. So at the beginning, it worked very well. And then came the financial crash. And the consequence of the financial crash was that manufacturing itself went down through a significant dip. People simply were not manufacturing and therefore they were not emitting and therefore didn't need the permits to allow them to emit. And slowly but surely the number of permits built up until what we have today is a huge glut of permits. There is uh, already proposed what is called a market stability reserve, which is like a bank account into which you can put the excess allowances. But well, one of the first things we've tried to do is to double the rate at which those allowances enter the bank. So they're taken away faster. One of the bigger challenges, of course, as a continent, is we have a lot of post-Soviet technology to the east, which frankly is, is a problem. And we need to make a way through that by innovation and modernization. So we've created funds again to support the, um, the member states to the east to help them through that. The challenge right now is we have the structure and the mechanism. We have the car, if you like. We have the engine. We just haven't got the ignition key turning yet. And until that engine starts powering the change, we are going to be falling behind.